Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are here at Bullion Stadium, where the 2-2 two two Nordonia Knights are taking on the undefeated Stone Monroe Falls Bulldogs. That's right, Nick. Nordonia just came off a very close loss to the Hudson Explorers, who are a very good football team. Their, their record is 2-2, two and two, and they are much better than their record indicates. Well, Stowe looks to remain undefeated as they come off of a very narrow victory against the Wadsworth Grizzlies. That's certainly true, Joe. This is definitely going to be one of the tougher games Stowe has this year. Early in the first quarter, it was Stowe who had a few tricks up their sleeves as junior wide receiver found Jason Gobble for a 43-yard touchdown. The image may be out of focus, but Logan Lindsay's arm was honed in on his target. On the very next possession, Justin Post drops back for a potential touchdown pass. However, Joey Anderson makes a great read on the ball and intercepts it. After an unsuccessful drive from the Stowe Bulldogs, junior quarterback Justin Post goes up the middle and runs down to the two-yard line, which puts Nordonia into scoring position. And sophomore running back Anthony Perrine ends the drive with a two-yard push up the middle that ties the game at 7-7 towards the end of the first quarter. With 3.37 left in the first quarter, Jason Gobble receives the handoff from Kyle Van Trees and works his way on the outside corner. Gobble tiptoes up the sideline and from there he's off to the races. Good luck catching him, Nick. This would be Gobble's first of many rushing touchdowns of the game and would give Stowe a 14-7 lead. Kyle Van Trees drops back the option read and <laughs> gives the ball to Jason Gobble as he works his way up to the 10-yard line to put Stowe in scoring position. Jason Gobble pushes two yards through the defense to give Stowe a 21-7 lead. Late in the second half, Justin Post drops back for a pass and connects with Mario Rodriguez that brings Nordonia within 10. In Nordonia's first drive of the second half, sophomore running back Anthony Perrine receives a handoff and look at this move right here. Woo! After that, he fumbles the ball unfortunately, recovered by Monty Board that would give Stowe a potential to score another touchdown. With 5.14 left in the third quarter, the Bulldogs take full advantage of their fumble recovery as Jason Gobble puts in his third touchdown of the night to give the Bulldogs a 31-14 lead. On the ensuing drive, Nordonia goes three and out and lines up for a punt. However, the snap is very poor and Joe Gibbs is able to down the punter on the five yard line giving Stowe a great chance to score, which they do on the very next play as Jason Gobble breaks through the defensive line and scores his third touchdown of the night, giving Stowe a 38-14 lead. Nordonia quarterback Justin Post was quick to respond with a 65-yard long bomb connection to Tyler Soltis. After a successful two-point conversion, the score was 38-22. After an unsuccessful possession with the Bulldogs, Justin Post finds Tyler Soltis again for a second touchdown of the night. The Knights attempt to go for two as Justin Post drops back in the pocket, rolls out and breaks up the 10-yard line. But look out, he takes to the air to complete the two-point conversion and cut the lead to eight. On the ensuing drive, junior quarterback Kyle Van Trees keeps the ball off a read option, breaks through the middle of the defense, gets into the open field, and breaks the tackle, falls down at the 25-yard line, and puts Stowe into scoring position. Later on in the same drive, Kyle Van Trees keeps another ball on a read option, breaks to the edge of the defense, and scores to give Stowe the 44-30 lead. On the ensuing drive, Justin Post once again connects with Tyler Soltis, giving him his third and final touchdown of the night. All right, so five rushing touchdowns, one receiving. Notice that play, a little flick from Logan Lindsay to you. Was that drawn up like that? Who drew that up? Who drew that play up? Uh, we've had that drawn up since the beginning of the season. We even had it last season. We just never ran it. And uh, today, I mean, we just kind of threw it out there. I mean, all week we were kind of, we, we knew we were going to run it. And then it just worked out so well. Great night, man. 253 yards. That's great. <laughs> Well everyone, that's a wrap here at Bullion Stadium as the Stone Monroe Falls Bulldogs came out on top of the score of 65 to 37. You bet they won this game, Nick, and it was mainly from the help of senior star running back Jason Gobble, who had 253 rushing yards in addition to five rushing touchdowns and one receiving touchdown. Yeah, that's true, Joe, but Nordonia had a little help of their own from wide receiver Tyler Soltis. He had four touchdowns coming into this game. He had four touchdowns. Those were crucial in the third quarter when Nordonia started making a comeback. However, with Jason Gobble and the Bulldogs' strong defense and a pick six from Joe Gobble late in the game, the Bulldogs were able to come back on top and remain, er, remain undefeated with a 5-0 record.